approximately 3.5% of people suffering from COVID-19 will need support from a mechanical ventilator. Mechanical ventilation works by taking over some or all of the work of our lungs, getting oxygen in and getting rid of carbon dioxide. But are there any negative consequences to mechanical ventilation? And what can we do to ameliorate these risks? We spoke to Ewan McCaughey, Senior Research Scientist at Neuroscience Research Australia and Conjoint Senior Lecturer at the University of New South Wales. While mechanical ventilation is a life-saving intervention, it also increases the risk of respiratory and cardiac complications. During mechanical ventilation, the major breathing muscles, so the diaphragm, the abdominal and intercostal muscles, they weaken. So this weakness is associated with increased time on the mechanical ventilator, increased readmissions to hospital and intensive care further down the road, and ultimately increased risk of death. So how might we mitigate some of these risks? Dr McCauley and his colleagues recently conducted a pilot study with 20 critically ill, mechanically ventilated patients, investigating the effects of something called Abdominal Functional Electrical Stimulation, or FES. Abdominal FES involves non-invasive electrodes being placed on the stomach and small electrical pulses being sent through the skin and the fat layer, and activating the nerve that causes the abdominal muscles to contract. This can improve respiratory function and maintain muscle thickness. Whilst only a pilot study, they found that patients who received abdominal FES required less time on a ventilator and also spent less time in an intensive care unit, compared to those who didn't receive it. So, might it be useful for those on mechanical ventilation following COVID-19 infection? We believe electrical stimulation of the expiratory muscles has the potential to reduce the time people spend on a mechanical ventilator due to COVID or other forms of critical illness. That should in turn reduce the time people spend in intensive care. Therefore, we're hoping to undertake a randomised control trial investigating whether abdominal FES can achieve this.